When Russian troops invaded Ukraine nine months ago, the world was turned upside down for millions of people. Since then, many families have found themselves separated, sometimes oceans apart. Northern News Now's Larissa Millis shares the story of one Ukrainian mother who found herself back in Minnesota 16 years after she first visited, this time for a very different reason. I had my family, I had a house, I had a dog, cats. So basically my life was close to perfect. Mila Mostova says her life changed on February 24th, 2022. She and her family resided in a town just 50 miles from Kyiv. We woke up uh, from the sounds that didn't resemble anything that I've ever heard before. And yeah, this is the day when the war started and this is the day when uh, life of all Ukrainians has uh, have uh, changed forever. In April, two months after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the U.S. federal government launched a program called Uniting for Ukraine. Americans apply to sponsor Ukrainians who are then able to seek refuge in the U.S. for at least two years. That program, an opportunity for Mostova and her kids, nine-year-old Veronica and six-year-old Severin, to flee to safety. This decision didn't come really easy for me. It was probably one of the most, one of the hardest decisions in my life to leave because, as I said, I originally wanted to stay and fight and help and, you know, protect my kids from, from where I was. But I realized that it's not safe for my kids to be here, be in Ukraine. For Sue Van Gilder, Uniting for Ukraine was an opportunity to reunite with Mostova, who she hosted as a foreign exchange student 16 years ago and kept in contact with all those years. Van Gilder says she wanted to do everything she could to help Mostova and her family. It was very scary. I, I wanted to be on the phone and talk to her all the time, but uh, it wasn't easy to get a hold of her. After their applications were accepted, Mostova and her kids arrived in Minnesota in August. Since then, they've been living with Van Gilder. The kids started school in September, and both Mostova and Van Gilder say they've adjusted well, learning English and making friends. It means a lot that they're here, that they're safe. Um, I'm excited for her to, you know, be safe in America, but also to... Um, you know, find her own place here while she's here. Mostova is waiting for her permit to work to be accepted, then hopes to find a job and her own place. She says whether she goes back to Ukraine depends on her children's safety. If the war ends soon, I'd like to go back and uh, continue my life in Ukraine. But if it doesn't, if the war doesn't end anytime soon, I'd like to stay here in the safe place, in a place where me and my kids can lead a normal, safe life. A 16-year connection, making an opportunity for safety possible. In Duluth, Larissa Millis, Northern News Now. Mostova's husband had to remain in Ukraine as current law there bans men ages 18 to 60 from leaving the country during a time of war. Mostova says they're able to communicate with her husband about four or five, every four or five days. A GoFundMe has been set up to help Mostova get on her own feet until she's approved for work. We'll have a link to that on our website.